Our Blue Belt song for Recorder Karate is When the Saints Go Marching In. And we have a couple of new things in this song. So again, it's one of those belts that's kind of tricky and does take a lot of time to practice. The first new thing that we have is something called a tie. And it's the curved line that connects two of the notes. So if you look at the bottom of your paper, it says a tie is a curved line which connects notes of the same pitch or the same note. So for example, a tie could connect a C and a C. It could connect a G and a G, but it couldn't connect a G and an A. That would be something else. So basically what ties tell us is that we add together the value of two notes. So if you look at your music, the first tie that we see happens on the word saints. It happens right here. And we have a whole note tied or connected with a curved line to a quarter note. So we know that a whole note gets four beats and our quarter note gets one beat. So when we tie them together, we hold that whole note now for five beats. So that's something that you want to know for this song. Those curved lines basically tell us to kind of add together both of the values of the notes so that that become they so that they become really long notes now so our first one is five beats I think actually all of the ties in the song are five beats so anytime you see a curved line it's telling you to hold those notes for five beats the other new things that we see in the song are C and D two new notes in one song so we really have to practice a lot and C and D on the recorder are a little bit different we've kind of run out of notes as we've been going down the recorder so now we start using the back hole covered and uncovered sometimes so C C, which is also our third um, space of the music staff, the way that we're going to play C on the recorder is like this. So we have our thumb on the back and our middle finger covering the second hole and that is it. It should sound like this. <coughs> Try it with me and see if yours sounds like mine. <coughs> so that's C. And then to get to D, which would be our fourth line of our music staff, we line up our fingers for a C, but we take off our thumb on the back. So now that hole is uncovered and we just have our middle finger covering the second hole. So it should sound like this. <coughs> Try your D and see if it sounds like mine. <coughs> and an easy way to remember which one is C and which one is D is to remember that for C, we cover the back hole. So C, cover, D, don't cover. That's a really a really helpful trick you can remember. C, cover, D, don't cover. So these two notes we need for this song. So let's get started with going through our song rhythm wise. Remember that we're holding those long notes, those tied notes for five beats now. Okay, so do your best. And if you're not sure what it sounds like, just listen to me. One, two, clap it, go. Ta, 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 ta. Ta 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 so now it's time to see if we can speak the letter names. Remember that we have two new letter names in the song, C, which is our third space note, and D, which is our fourth line note. So keep those in your brain. And if you can't say both of them yet, then just try to say one, either C or D, and then go back and do this a second time with both of the letter names. Do your best. One, two, letter names go. G, B, C, D, two, three, four, five. G, B, C, D, two, three, four, five. G, B, C, D, B, G, B, A, two, three, four, five. B, A, G, G, B, D, 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 C, two, three, four, five. B, C, D, B, G, A, G, two, three, four, five. Great, now it's time to try to do the fingerings along with me. Again, if you can't do C and D, pick one of them that you can do. One, two, fingerings go. G, B, C, D, two, three, four, five. G, B, C, D, two, three, four, five. G, B, C, D, B, G, B, a, two, three, four, five, B, A, G, G, B, D, 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 C, two, three, four, five, B, C, D, B, G, 
G, A, G, two, three, four, five. All right, and the last step is to see if we can play it. So the recording again goes kind of fast if you're gonna be practicing with that at home. So make sure that you've practiced kind of quickly before you go practice with the recording. But let's do our best. We'll go about this speed. One, two, ready, play. Great job. If you think that you're ready to test for your blue belt, let your teacher know. But remember, these belts get harder and harder. We only have a few more until we get to black. So they really do get challenging and complicated. So just do your best, practice hard, and you'll do very well. Good luck.